while I was writing this review, I had to really search hard for negatives about this backpack. And to be quite honest, I did not find that many. For those of you who don't know how I personally like to review any item, I personally believe that for me as a consumer, it's better to look at all of the negatives and drawbacks of that specific item that I'm interested in and then evaluate if I can live or work around these flaws and drawbacks. Usually if I'm interested in a product, I already know all of the positives, the features, etc. from the product page or from other reviews. However, I think that we should take a closer look at all of the negatives. And with this in mind, let's take a closer look at the Black Amber Forge backpack. But before we go into all of the positives and negatives of this bag, let's do a quick roundup of all of the important features of the Forge backpack. 800D 3-layer microtextile and hyperlon fabric, T6 anodized aluminum hardware, YKK AquaGuard zippers with zipper garage on some of the zippers, clamshell opening main compartment, Organizational panel in the main compartment. Expandable main compartment which transforms the bag from 20 to 30 liters capacity. Second clamshell opening compartment with a well padded 15 inch laptop compartment. Front quick access compartment with a bunch of slots to organize all of your items. Bag can transform from backpack to briefcase to messenger mode. Therefore there is a very well padded side handle. But you also have some very well padded and comfortable shoulder straps. When I first started to use this bag, I was impressed by all of the compartments and slots. Sometimes a high amount of slots and compartments can be a bit overwhelming or make you forget where you have put some of your items. However, with the Forge, all of the slots and compartments worked really well with my packing style. Especially the front compartment is really well laid out. Usually this is one of my pet peeves because with simple front compartments or the lack of slots and compartments in a vertical direction, all of your items tend to slide down once you carry the bag in backpack mode and then all of your items just accumulate at the bottom. The Forge's front compartment has a bunch of slots and compartments that are oriented sideways to access your items easily in messenger or briefcase mode. And this orientation of the slots helps to keep everything in place when carrying the Forge in backpack mode. Nothing slides down and everything stays perfectly in place. Furthermore, all of the inner lining is bright silver, so everything is easily visible inside the compartments. The front compartment opens up pretty wide to give you perfect access to all of your items. But this obviously is a pretty good gateway for pickpockets when the bag is on your back. Black Amber included a zipper garage in which you can fiddle through the zipper pull to make pickpocketing more difficult. Obviously, if this is difficult for pickpockets, it's also difficult for you because this is pretty fiddly and not as easy to pull through or out. So obviously this means that you probably only use this feature in some occasions. Speaking of the zippers, the zipper pulls feel awesome. Overall the whole build quality is incredible. Plus these side handles are the best side handles that I ever felt on a backpack. Granted, these feel that great because these are a feature for the briefcase and messenger mode. But I really love grabbing these side handles. Yes, they look a bit big on the side, but I personally would always prefer a proper side handle over a top handle. 
and big is probably one of the negatives when you take a look at the Black Amber Forge. This is a bag that transforms from 20 liter everyday carry size to 30 liter carry on size. But even when the bag is compressed to 20 liter everyday carry size, this bag still looks and feels fairly bulky and big, at least compared to other everyday carry backpacks. While I mentioned in the positives that I like the amount of compartments, this can also be seen as a negative. Essentially, you have to open three different zippers to get to all of your compartments in which you find another array of different zippered compartments. This can either be overwhelming or at least potentially make you lose your small USB stick for instance. Speaking of all of the zippers to open the compartments, the middle zipper that expands the bag to carry on size has the biggest zipper pull that you easily grab accidentally so that you open up the wrong zipper. I kinda wish that this zipper could be parked somehow, but I personally probably just remove the zipper pull so I don't accidentally grab the wrong zipper. As I mentioned in the introduction, I was looking really hard to find all of the negatives when I reviewed this bag. However, as you can see, I wasn't able to find that many negatives. So bottom line, I really really like this bag and I would think that this is very high on my list of favorite backpacks. Yes, this bag is fairly bulky and big, but all of the features make this extra size worthwhile. I have not used this bag for traveling yet, however, when I ride my motorcycle to work, I always carry an extra pair of pants. So when I arrive at work, I change from the bulky motorcycle pants that have a lot of padding for the cold winds, plus a lot of protection, which then again require a lot of room inside any bag. So I change to regular pants and store the motorcycle pants inside the forge and they fit well even when the bag is not fully expanded. So I'm fairly certain that this bag is great for one bag traveling or at least a weekend trip. So if you're looking for a great bag that you can use multiple ways, e.g. for traveling or everyday carry, as a backpack or in briefcase mode, and you don't mind the extra bulk or let's say the size of the bag, then I can highly recommend the Black Amber Forge backpack. So let me know in the comment section below, do you mind the extra bulk or the size of a bag if you can use the bag multiple ways? And also, if you have any more questions, also comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, click the like button. And please feel free to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell icon so you won't miss the next videos. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for sticking around. Just as another quick reminder, next week on the 29th of February, there will be a Carryology and subscriber meetup at the Heimplanet store here in Hamburg. So this event is supposed to be a casual meetup where we nerd out about bags and backpacks, but also where I will talk a little bit about what are my favorite features in my potential or um, hypothetical favorite backpack. So if you happen to be in Hamburg and you are into bags then come along and join us on the 29th of February at the Heimplanet store here in Hamburg. If you can't make it I hope to see you in the next videos. Thank you very much.